I want to talk about a team that I thought has stepped up this year, looks different, that offense looks bit uh, better, more dynamic, and that was the Ravens and the Bengals game. Rewatch the tape on Monday for the Ravens. This offense definitely looks a lot different than it has in the past. We mentioned their offensive coordinator likes to do a lot more three receivers where before they had Jack Doyle. I believe they had Hayden Hurst on that team. They had Mark Andrews. There was a lot of three tight end sets. Let's run the ball. I believe their offensive coordinator before was pro- known as the guy that just pounds the ball. They're running the ball more than they threw it. However, They got some weapons on this team right now, and I liked what I saw from Odell. I know he got hurt. I'm not expecting to rely on him, but Zay Flowers continues to build on the momentum he started in week one. Lamar Jackson likes him. They really seem like they have a good grasp on uh, how to use him, and I feel like they really need to take some of that offensive coordinator going for it pressure off of John Harbaugh just so he's not coaching like a computer looking at what does AWS tell me I should do maybe I should ask chat GPT what the call should be on this play it's like no Lamar Jackson actually has some space on this team the play calling actually opens it up for the receivers we even saw a Nelson Aguilar sighting Mark Andrews was his regular badass bruiser self on this team and they're able to have some good running plays and this was in Cincinnati against a tough defense and I thought Cincinnati wasn't going to be able to return back into form and shake off what happened in Cleveland I still thought they were going to go so through some rough patches especially because I feel like the Ravens are a team that steps up early in the season and that was the case because Roquan Smith was everywhere talk about a hell of a pickup and from Chicago definitely a team that could use someone like a Roquan Smith on that team arguably the best player at his position, Kyle Hamilton. Last year, he was a rookie, and he was ranked as, I believe, the top safety by Pro Football Focus. He's getting better, everyone, and they still have an elite secondary on that team, and that pass rush still is monstrous, and they were able to give Joe Burrow a lot of problems, but I just like what I'm seeing from that offense that this year. It doesn't look like Lamar Jackson is banging his head up against the wall every single play. Do I want to see Lamar still run less? Yeah. Do I want to see some of those um, quarterback designed runs taken out of the playbook until maybe the playoffs or the end of the season and the games really matter? Yeah. I don't want to see Lamar Jackson taking those hits, but I think Lamar has definitely had the opportunity to be more of a point guard this year because he had some good strikes to Zay Flower. He still had some balls where he's overthrowing it. But guess what? Every quarterback has a ball where they overthrow someone. It's nothing new in the NFL, but Zay Flowers, Nelson Aguilar, Odo Beckham Jr. on that team adds a lot more speed. And I feel like when people are talking about the Giants having more speed, you really should have been talking about the Ravens having more speed and being able mm-hmm. to go into more three receiver, one tight end sets, which has opened up the field for the Ravens. And that Bengals defense, too, is no joke. Like Lou Anarumo on that team, Logan Wilson was still cracking skulls on that team. They still have some monsters on the defensive line there and some incredible pass rushers. And they gave the Ravens trouble and they really pushed the offense in that game. But overall, I thought this was a good over um, team performance. And I like the step I saw from the offense. And this is still the second game with the offensive coordinator. So this offense is going to continue to get better. It's just a question of Lamar Jackson's health and Odo Beckham Jr.'s health going forward. Yeah, I think that this is the year for the Ravens. We've been waiting for them to have a good receiver core, been waiting for them to to have the talent around them. This is the year that the Ravens should, A, win their division because you got the Bengals banged up, you have the Steelers who are in disarray, and then the Browns being the Browns. No yeah. offense to the Browns. Um, but you have... Your new receiver, who's given me Tyree Kill vibes. I don't know if he's, you know, no one's really to the level of Tyree Kill, but a play style as Tyree Kill ask, you know, elusive yards after the catch kind of receiver. I, I when I initially thought about this Ravens team entering the season, I'm like, you're going to rely on Odell. I don't know about that. Doesn't really seem like they need to. Seems like Odell, maybe get him three, four catches a game, give him like five, six targets. He'll do his thing. And then you even got, you know, you have Mark Andrews, elite tight end. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, it's really with Lamar, I still expect them to have those running plays, but only when they need to, only yeah. when they need that big play. And if that's what their offense will be, where it's a predominantly pass heavy team and then, you know, have some running style plays with some of their running backs as well. This team's going to be dangerous, especially yeah. because 
Lamar Jackson can run like no one else. And on top of that, you have a good head coach. And then your defense is elite as well. This is the year for Lamar Jackson if he wants to be considered with these elite quarterbacks like the Joe Burrows, like the Josh Allens, like the Patrick Mahomes, where he's been anointed. This is his year. And I think this is the year that he can make some damage in the AFC. Yeah, and this is the year, too, where he's like, I think Lamar Jackson's like, hey, I think I'm still the best quarterback in my division because for the Bengals, can we not suck the first month of the year? I get we get the whole speech from Joe Burrow and Zach Taylor. We're just focused on November and December football. That's great. But can we not like suck and not forget how our offense works as a unit, as a scheme? Can we not forget how to get Jamar chase the ball? Can we not forget how to get T Higgins the ball until the second half? Get you go up against a tough Cleveland defense. I get you're going up against a tough Ravens defense. However, both of those teams beat you at the first part of the year. And I thought the Bengals this year would at least learn, Hey, yeah, maybe it doesn't matter as much in Dece- in September and October. You know what does matter? Home field advantage. And that game versus the Chiefs was a game where it was a call or two going the other way where maybe the Bengals could have won that game. Again, it came down to a field goal and the difference with the refing at home, the difference with your defense at home, the difference with having the energy and the fans at home versus having to go on the road in Arrowhead and credit to you for going there two years in a row and competing with the Chiefs coming back and then it coming down to a field goal. But the Chiefs defense is better this year than it was last year. Um, George Karloftis is taking a step forward. Their secondary is better. The Ravens have added weapons this year. Deshaun Watson has a full year in that system. The Browns defense is still really good. TJ Watt is still a problem there. So it's like, can we not suck? Like, and I get Joe Burrow had an injury and didn't play in the full preseason and it was raining in Cleveland. But at the same time, if you're that dude, you still have to go out there and at least step up because you can't fall down into a hole where you're one and three and the Ravens are four and oh and you're playing catch up. Now we have to go on the road through the AFC, which is an absolute gauntlet this year. So the Bengals, I'm definitely worried about them more than I was last year. And it just comes down to that Joe Burrow injury where he looked hobbled in that game and I think it really comes down to they don't get a good enough run game going I think they're going to miss some AJ P Ryan because we're seeing him in Denver make some of those big plays where he turns something into nothing so for the Bengals it's like we gotta get going earlier in the season we can't just keep falling behind and playing catch up and you're really only in that game because the special teams play where you return to punt for a touchdown other than that the Ravens would have pretty much dominated you front to back in that game T Higgins got going Jamar Chase still really didn't get going in that game tried to start it out with Tyler Boyd you just can't look that bad because other teams are coming and the AFC is loaded and home field advantage matters in the playoffs so we can't keep starting out 0-2 every single year especially with Joe Burrow being hurt in training camp that can't keep happening year in and year out and that's going to be something that's a handicap this year especially with him re-injuring that calf and it's going to be one of those nagging injuries where unfortunately that's not something that's easy to work out during the season you're going to keep coming back and it's going to keep bothering you and Joe Burrow's the type of guy that's going to want to play through it especially when he see his team start to fall behind they're going to want Burrow to play because they paid him all this money but at the same time it's an injury where you really need that time to rehab and take a few steps back. And I think they would have benefited from him maybe taking a step back versus Cleveland and Baltimore, where it's like, if we're going to just suck anyways, we might as well not have Joe Burrow get killed. But also, Joey B, we still have to play better. We still got to play better because he definitely could have improved. I get he had some nice throws to T. Higgins, but you're going up against Lamar. This is one of the games where you have to be a gamer and those massive games you had versus Baltimore, they're set pretty much their entire starting secondary was out when Jamar Chase was cooking them. This is a whole different animal now.